Senator Padilla. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Um, and thank you and uh, Ranking Member Portman for your hard work and that of your staff for helping to advance the FIRE Act out of committee this morning. All across the Western United States, historic wildfires are growing more frequent and more severe. And every year, we see entire communities destroyed in a matter of hours, as we saw this year in Colorado, and as we've seen in previous years, recent years, in California. In those instances, families are oftentimes forced to flee with only the belongings they can fit into their cars. Last year, I had an opportunity to visit an incident command center in Quincy, California, to see firsthand the response, real-time response, to the devastating Dixie Fire. Also had an opportunity to meet with local leaders in Santa Rosa, California, uh, to hear about the problems with recovery from previous catastrophic fires in that region. The FIRE Act that we have approved today will help ensure FEMA addresses the unique and increasing danger of wildfires. FEMA's current abilities and requirements don't always work for post-wildfire recovery needs, and this bill will significantly close those gaps. You know, closing those gaps begins with preparation. Uh, the FIRE Act will allow FEMA to pre-deploy resources during times of extreme high risk, such as red flag warnings that we're all too familiar with in California, pre-position resources much like we do already during hurricane warnings. Then, as communities are rebuilding after a disaster, this bill will work with FEMA to ensure that it takes wildfire-specific concerns into account, like melted infrastructure, not a scenario you see with other types of disasters, and burned trees, yet another example. It would also allow local governments to more effectively uh, relocate critical infrastructure away from fire-prone areas. In the aftermath of a fire, this bill will also help provide better housing assistance, case management, and crisis counseling for survivors with a focus on equity for underserved communities and tribal governments. And with the FIRE Act, we'll be able to better prepare for and respond to the unique challenges of wildfires and aid the people on the front lines of the climate crisis in California and throughout the Western United States. So I'm thankful again for the majority and minority committee staff who contributed to the bill as well as our partners at FEMA. As Californians, knows, Californians know, our uh, need to take action on wildfire response is urgent. I'm proud of the work of this bill so far, and I want to thank you again, Mr. Chair.